Uh, want to spend some time really, talk, really talking about what it's like to work with the military, things you can say, things you can't say. Uh, ultimately, I, I want you guys to feel comfortable and confident when you're working with our, mil uh, with our military and our veteran population. So some of the questions that you want to talk about, some of the things that you guys want to bring up is, you know, what can I ask or how do I ask a, a veteran about their service-connected disability, right? And this is one of those terms that we talk a lot about in our class. A service-connected disability, uh, if somebody has a service-connected disability that is documented by the VA and they're actually receiving compensation for that, this will eliminate uh, what is called the VA funding fee. That's a ton of savings to our veteran population, right? So this is anywhere from 2.4% all the way to 3.6% of the entire loan amount. So this is one of the questions that you want to make sure that you are bringing up when you're talking to, to this community. And I've heard it asked wrong. I've heard it asked right. And so I want to kind of highlight which one makes more sense. What you don't want to say is, hey, how disabled are you? That doesn't go over well. That's not a good way to start, you know, start that, uh, uh, that first interview with, with somebody you're about to show homes to. What I like to say is you either do this two ways. Do you have a service connected disability would be the most direct way to say it, right? Or you can choose to lead with education. Did you know that if you have a service related disability or service connected disability, that will eliminate a bunch of fees associated with your VA loan. It's imperative that you let your loan officer know that, right? My team, we know to ask this question. My entire team, we're all ex-military. This is what we do. Uh, but a lot of folks, they don't ask that. And if that question's not asked, sometimes the veterans are actually being charged that funding fee when they never, you know, never should have been. So we've seen this happen both ways. Uh, this is, you know, definitely want to know uh, if somebody does tell you, yes, I have a service connected disability. It's not appropriate to dive deep on that. That's something you guys don't want to do. Well, well, tell me more about it. Do you have PTSD? Do you have this? Do you don't need to know. All you need to know is that if they have a service-connected disability, they're, re they're receiving compensation from the VA, that will eliminate the funding fee. Of course, our team, when we go in to do a mortgage, we actually pull their certificate of eligibility. We're going to take a look at, this, at the COE, ensure that that disability is there. If it's not there, then of course now we have to communicate with the VA and we have to get that COE corrected. So we want to do everything we can to save our veterans as much money as possible. But I want you to feel comfortable and confident that you can ask these questions. It does matter. It does help. Uh, it helps the veteran understand what's actually going on. So, uh, of course, there's other there are other things that would eliminate uh, the funding fee as well. Uh, so if somebody is still serving in the military and they've been awarded a Purple Heart, uh, that would eliminate the funding fee. That's relatively new. Uh, surviving spouses, uh, somebody's a surviving spouse and they, uh, they've got the correct documentation at the VA, uh, they would be exempt from having to pay the funding fee as well. So, you know, there's all kinds of different ways that we're going to work with our veterans and try and help save them, uh, save them money. But it's about asking the right questions and asking it the right way. So now let's say that you are working with, uh, you're working with somebody from the military, you're working with a veteran. Uh, you know, I always like to talk about the top tips in, in, in what to do and what not to do. Uh, so if you are working with somebody who's in our military right now, one of the things you want to focus on is communication. Uh, military folks, people who are still active, even the veteran population, they tend to be very organized, very disciplined, very structured. Uh, over communication is probably one of the best things you can do. Uh, this is, this is, you know, these are imperative things to pay attention to. Be on time. Uh, so this, you know, in the military, it's kind of bred into us that we're, we're pretty timely. Um, you know, I, it was, that was one of the things when I, when I first got into real estate, uh, I, I was directly from the military where you, you better be 10 to 15 minutes early to every single thing that you're going to do. And then when I first moved into real estate, it was about, about 1230 is when we're going to be there. And I, it, it took a long time for me to actually understand uh, the differences in those times. But, uh, you know, be timely when you're working with the military. Over communicate when you're working with the military. And then specifically speaking to PTSD. And I have a lot of friends who suffer from it. I have uh, my I have family members who suffer from it. Uh, PTSD. One of the things that you want to pay attention to is if somebody is suffering from PTSD and, and, and you know about this, buying a home is one of the most stressful things that anybody, I don't care if you served or not, anybody's going to go through. But it doesn't have to be, right? We don't need to overstress folks. 
And so what I say by that is if you have somebody who's suffering from PTSD, um, you want to make sure that you're communicating at, you know, at an expert level. Because I'm going to tell you right now, what's going to ratchet up PTSD is stress. Right, That's when people really start to panic and they really start to feel it. We need to bring that stress level down, and the best way to do, to do that is to over-communicate. Make sure that they're aware of everything that's happening. Help them understand why certain steps are happening. Right? What does it mean why we do these inspections? What does it mean that I, you know, as I'm going to the title company or I'm, you know, all these different things that are happening in a real estate transaction? Help them understand. Keep them calm. It's going to make that transaction a lot smoother, uh, and it's it's just going to help to, to to keep some of those other things, uh, you know, down just a little bit. So. Uh, my name is David Smith. I'm the lead instructor for the VA Mortgage Masterclass. Uh, excited to be here. I appreciate you guys. Go ahead and tell us that you like us. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We try to bring information out uh, on a regular basis that's going to help you in your business. Uh, in fact, our next course is going to be uh, how to market to the, to the military population. So you guys can click on that as well. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Again, I'm David Smith with the VA team and the VA Mortgage Masterclass. We want, there's also a link here. You can sign up for our course. It's about an hour long. We've trained 22,000 real estate, real estate agents on it. Very cool course. I think we'd love to have you there. So thanks again. We'll see you guys next time.